Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at solving quadratic inequalities and this particular type of um, exam paper question is a little bit trickier than the normal ones where effectively you're factorising and then you can maybe draw a quick sketch or something like this. However, with this one what you have to remember is that we can't really factorise that because if I do 2 times plus 10, I'm going to get plus 20. And then there's no two numbers that when I multiply them together will make plus 20. And when I add them together will make minus 10. So that's one of the clues that you've got to kind of recognise this won't be factorised. Oh, at least not traditionally anyway. Um, the other thing is that it says work out the integer values. So the integer values is the whole number values, okay? So what I'd be looking at with this question is, um, I guess, really deciding how I'm going to solve it. And it seems to be pointing more and more towards the quadratic formula. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just divide through by 2, just because then the numbers become a little bit easier. So if I divide through by 2, I'm going to get x squared minus 5x plus 5 is less than 0. And that's perfectly fine to be able to do that with any sort of equation, providing you, you do the same on both sides. And of course, 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So then I can take this information now and I can plug it directly into the quadratic formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now looking at this particular equation, I've got my three values of a, b and c. So a is this value here, which in this particular case is going to be 1. b is this value here, which is minus 5. And c is this value here, which is plus 5. OK, so I've got my three values and I can plug that directly into the equation. Now be very careful because b is minus 5 and I've got minus b. OK, so what we're going to get is minus and then if you like minus 5. Now that's going to become plus 5. And then the square root, or plus and minus the square root. Now, b squared is minus 5 squared. Now, I'm going to just keep the same convention. I'm going to write that as minus 5 squared. But be very careful when you're using a calculator with these sorts of things to make sure the calculator knows that it's minus 5 squared. It's not 5 squared and then put a minus front in front of it. And uh, if you're not sure about what I'm getting at there, just add a comment below and I will explain that in a bit more detail. Okay, so then we've got minus four, and A is gonna be one, and C is going to be five, okay? And then underneath, I've got two times A, which is gonna be two times one, okay? So basically, I need to pop that into a calculator, and I'm gonna get my two values, one where I plus this, this area here is called the discriminant, uh, plus the discriminant, okay? This one here is where I minus the discriminant, okay? And I get my two values. I get x equals 3.62, and that's to 2dp, and x equals 1.38, and that's also to 2dp. So actually, what we've got here is a quadratic equation, and if I draw this on a graph, what we're saying is the points pass through the x-axis at 1.38 and 3.62. So I've actually got something that looks like that. Okay, but you'll notice that the equation is satisfied where the values are less than zero. So if they're less than zero, it's going to be these values in here. Okay, it's less than zero. Okay. But we're being asked for the integer values, the whole number values. Well, between 1.3, 1.38, and 3.62, we've got two whole numbers, one of which is 2, and the other of which is 3. So in answer to the question, the two values that will uh, satisfy this equation are going to be 2 and 3. 
Okay, I hope that's all right for you. Let's move on to a second example, which we can treat in exactly the same way. It's no different, but again, it's also spotting that you can't factorize this. You're gonna to have to use the quadratic formula. Perhaps you could try completing the square, um, but again, you have to be very careful because this would then be seven over two. So that's gonna be quite difficult if you're not sure about how to work with fractions. But um, you can, in this particular case, use the quadratic formula in the same way. Now I've got then x squared minus seven x plus 11 is less than zero. Okay, so I'm going to choose my values of A, which is again 1, that's going to go in front here. B is going to be minus 7 and C is going to be plus 11. Now when I'm doing these things, I always put the minuses and the pluses in place, particularly if I'm not sure, it just helps me to kind of focus on what I need to do. Okay, so I know that I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus the root b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, I do suggest when you're doing your revision of these things that you do each time write out the quadratic formula. It just kind of helps you to remember it. Okay, so I've got my values. So I've got, again, I've got a minus seven here. So I've got to be careful in that. I'm going to get minus times minus seven plus or minus the root. So I've got minus seven squared, okay, minus four times one times 11, okay. And then I'm gonna divide all of that by two times one, which is gonna be two, okay. Pop that into my calculator. Again, I'm gonna get two values. One is where I plus the root. What the other is where I minus the root. So what I should get again to two decimal places is gonna be equal to 4.62 and 2.38. Now again, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna make a quick sketch of this just so I can kind of see it for myself. And I'm gonna have this quadratic where it's gonna pass through the x-axis at 2.38 and 4.62 okay so it's going to come down i don't quite know where it's going to cross the y-axis at the moment but it's going down something like that okay now the integer values again this this word the whole number values that satisfy the equation are going to be the values that are between 2.38 and 4.62 and they are below the value of zero. So that's going to be this one in here, which will be three, and this one in here, which will be four. So the answer to the question would be three and four. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. I hope you found that useful. Um, please do subscribe to the site. Um, have a look at some of the other videos through the uh, channel, and have a look at some of the playlists, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.